Now is the perfect time to inject a little bit of fun into your outfits and I know that these 10 simple styling tips will help you do exactly that. Hi I'm Leonie and welcome back to my channel. Now if you've been following me here for a while you'll know that I'm not a stickler for rules when it comes to fashion, when it comes to anything actually. I don't tend to like following the rules. But in saying that, there are some really simple styling tips and tricks that just make all the difference when it comes to putting outfits together and putting your best foot forward. So I thought I would share some of my all-time favorite tips in today's episode so that getting dressed this year is not only much easier, but also more fun. Now my first styling tip is to simply work those stripes. Now stripes are always in style, but this year they've had a real glow up. Now you can expect to see stripes of different sizes, different directions, and also different colors, which is really exciting. Now the great thing about stripes is that they lean into illusion dressing brilliantly. Now if you just think back to that TikTok famous viral dress, you know that dress, I'll actually flick up a picture of it here, where everyone was talking about it being a magic slimming dress. Well, there was nothing magic about it. It was just that the stripes and the pattern on that dress were working to give the illusion of a smaller waist. So essentially the stripes were just tricking our eyes into thinking the wearer had a tinier waist. And this is the great thing about stripes. When they are perfectly placed, they can do wonders in terms of slimming or taking the emphasis off various parts of your bodies. So the great thing about stripes is that there will be plenty to choose from and just consider which stripes you're choosing. Obviously, horizontal wide stripes are going to make you look wider. So just think about the stripe placement and the direction and size of the stripes and use them to your advantage. Now it's all too easy to find ourselves in a style rut and we keep choosing the same pieces over and over again. We wonder why we have nothing to wear because we have 10 pairs of black pants or 10 stripe tops. We do this because it's comfortable and it's easy and we hook onto something that suits us and makes us feel good and then we just buy multiples of the same thing. But to break that styling rut, what I challenge you to do is what I like to call a bit of a trend challenge. So get some inspiration about some of the key trends that are in for the season, whether you watch trend focused videos on YouTube or you whip onto Pinterest or just go online and have a little look at some of the key trends and challenge yourself to finding one of those trends that you're going to try that is going to push you out of your comfort zone a little bit. And often that's the hardest part, taking that first step. Now I'm not suggesting you opt for a trend that is so far removed from something you would normally wear or something you'd feel comfortable in. But challenge yourself to just push yourself a little bit out of that comfort zone and not buy multiples of the same thing because it's comfortable. You will end up with a wardrobe full of similar pieces. Nothing feels new, nothing feels fresh or modern. So challenge yourself to a trend update and I think you might be surprised at how refreshing it is and how invigorating it is to also some of the other pieces that you currently own. And at this point, I'd just like to share a few words from today's sponsor, which is Shaker and Spoon. We need to go into my kitchen for this one, so come with me. Shaker and Spoon is a monthly cocktail subscription box that sends you ingredients to make craft cocktails at home. Each month, you get a box centered around one spirit. I went for the steeped in vodka. In each box, there are recipes and ingredients to make three different cocktails, and each recipe makes four drinks. So that's a total of 12 cocktails per box, which is pretty awesome. So I used the vodka I had on hand to make the Dragon Tears cocktail. I infused it with the oolong tea, and after letting it steep for 30 minutes, I grabbed a glass, filled it with ice, added the vodka, the pepper cake syrup, chai walla, and lemon bitters, and then for the fun part, I lit a flame and spread it with lemon oil from the shaker and spoon box and wow how dramatic this added an extra aromatic touch and it made me feel very fancy too the cocktail was super yummy and if you would like to try shaker and spoon click the link in my description and use the code the style insider at checkout or go to shakerandspoon.com forward slash the style insider for $20 off your first box 
A box would be a great gift for a cocktail loving friend or it's a really fun way to get a little creative at home without any waste. Thank you Shaker and Spoon. My next tip is that dipped hemlines are very much your friend. Now quite often when you'll put on a t-shirt and you get dressed in the morning, you look at yourself in the mirror and unless it's tucked in or has a little bit of a half tuck, it can just make you look blah. The reason for this is usually a t-shirt will fall at the widest part of your body and that's where the eye is drawn so you're basically highlighting your widest part. T-shirts and tops that have a dipped hemline so it dips down slightly at the front and slightly at the back is the most flattering because what that does is it elongates your legs, it makes your legs appear longer and it just gives you that little bit of extra coverage in the front and at the back where it just makes you feel a little more comfy and tends to give that illusion of length. So dipped hemlines are your friend. Word of warning though, just be careful that the dip is in the center. You don't want the scoop to be in the center with the dips at the side. I have seen this look before and while it may tend to be comfortable because you sort of think that it hides your hips if you're a little bit hippy, the problem with this is that it just tends to add volume to that area where you potentially want to minimize it. So make sure the dipped hem is actually in the center of your body. Now my next tip is to simply update your jeans and I know how hard it is to shop for jeans and I know what happens when you find the perfect pair. You tend to hold on to them and often we hold on to them for a little bit too long. Updating our jeans can just give us lots of different outfit options and can just give us a little bit more of a modern edge. I recently saw a video on Erin from Busby Styles channel and she highlighted this brilliantly where she was wearing a pair of jeans that had a mid-calf crop which is generally really unflattering because again it hits you at the widest part of your legs mid-calf but also these particular jeans had some embellishment around that area so it was kind of just magnifying the widest part of our leg and it was such a nice reminder to me that just updating your jeans can give you so many more outfit options and it can just make all of your outfits look a little bit more modern and fashion forward. So as I said I know it's hard to find the perfect pair but we just hold on to them for too long. So be sure to update your jeans and if it takes a little bit of time to find a great pair then so be it. It is well worth the effort. Next up, this year is all about colour. I've talked about it quite a bit in my recent videos and I would love to suggest to everyone to incorporate some new colour into their wardrobe. I recently talked about colour in a video and I had one comment that said something along the lines of women of a certain age shouldn't wear bright colour. Say what? I mean... <laughs> Really, that's a general sweeping statement and in my opinion, it's really wrong. I think colour is the easiest way to liven up an outfit. It also leans into this whole new idea of dopamine dressing, which if you haven't heard of before, it's basically just dressing to make you feel happy. The great thing that I find about wearing colour, and as I have recently incorporated some new colours into my outfits, is that it actually sparks joy in other people around you. Just that whole notion of being bright and cheery tends to bring out the best in others and it just sort of feeds off each other. You get a great vibe from others and then that helps you return that. So that in a sense is the idea behind dopamine dressing. So I don't think there's an age limit on colour. I think colour is the easiest way to feel great not only in how you look but just to feel great in general and who doesn't need a little extra happiness in their lives. So incorporate some colour. There's comfort and then there's comfort. So when it comes to footwear, you don't have to opt for specialty shoes to really enjoy comfort. So there are lots of options around for gorgeous, comfy shoes that are not kind of frumpy and out of date. Gone are the days where they were the only options if you wanted to step out in comfort. So think about some really cool trainers or some chunky socks. Old, um, boots, 
Comfort is key and I totally get that, but you don't have to sacrifice style in the name of comfort. There are plenty of options. I have had a couple of comments recently from viewers who have opted for the high top converse trainers that I talk about quite a bit on my channel and they've said how they've just been a game changer to them. So think about some ways that you can add comfort to your outfits, but also give them a little bit of a modern edge as well. You don't have to go to specialty stores for comfort. Taking into account the comments that I get in my videos, I see that a lot of you aren't really into wearing dresses, but dresses are so underrated in my opinion. They're one and done, you don't have to think about putting together an outfit, and there are so many beautiful dresses on offer at the moment, which just makes it really easy. Now, if you're thinking as I'm talking that you're not a dress fan, maybe just reconsider. There really is a dress style for everyone. At the moment, the kind of the, the biggest trending dress style is more of a maxi floaty dress. But if that's not your style, then opt for something that's a little shorter, a little more fitted. As I said, there is a dress that works for everyone. And I think you can't underestimate how valuable these one and done pieces are, especially for getting dressed in a hurry and still looking and feeling great. Now I said in a recent video that I truly believe when it comes to the warmer weather you should just wear the shorts. I see too many, too many women missing out on a great summer because they want to hide their legs and not just wear some shorts that are practical and cool and lovely. And when they do tend to wear the shorts, they opt for those long, baggy, shapeless shorts. So my next tip is to simply wear the shorts. Don't worry about covering up. If they hit you sort of well above your knee, that's totally fine. Just be loud and proud and enjoy wearing the shorts. My final piece of advice, and probably the most important of all, is to trust your instincts. I know it can be confusing when you're bombarded with all sorts of fashion rules and you're told to do this or don't do that or wear this or don't wear that. I think what happens in that case is that it gets in the way of you just going with your very own gut feeling, which nine times out of 10 is bang on. So don't forget to trust your instincts. And at the end of the day, if something feels great and or looks great and makes you feel great, then just roll with it. My last piece of advice is to pay attention to the fabric. Fabric really does make a difference and a pair of pants can be cut in the exact same way but the fabric used to make them will actually make all the difference with how they sit, how they drape, how they fit a body. And generally that's what you pay a little bit more for when you're buying quality. You're paying for a better quality fabric. Not only does the fabric last longer, but it actually sits better on your body. So really take a close look at some of the fabric that you, or the fabrics and the texture of the fabric in the pieces that you buy. And I know that this is sometimes hard with most of us doing a lot more shopping online, but fabric really does matter. Anyway, that's it from me today. I hope you enjoyed this one. And if you did, I'd love you to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more. Oh, and check out the link to Shaker and Spoon in the description box below if you're a cocktail fan like me. But anyway, thanks again for watching and I will see you real soon. Bye for now.